Evening. This evening on the Australian French news, we'll be covering the election. Who will win? The redhead or the budgie smugglers? <laughs> but first, we're looking at a national holiday in France, Epiphany, or Fête de Loire, Festival of the Kings. It celebrates the arrival of the three kings in Bethlehem to the birth of Jesus Christ. Celebrated on the 6th of January, or the first Sunday of January, it is known as the 12th day of Christmas. We cross over to our French correspondent, Stephanie Francois in Paris. Thank you, Nancy. Currently, Paris is in the midst of its celebrations of Epiphany. In Greek, Epiphany means manifestation, and it celebrates ultimately the birth of Jesus Christ. It commemorates the three kings or the Magi's journey to Bethlehem. Ever since the 7th century, Christian tradition has given the, these kings the names Melchior, Caspar and Balthazar and tells that they brought the gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to Jesus Christ on this day. Coincidentally, these are the three kings who alerted Herod to the birth of Jesus Christ. He told them on their return to tell him where the baby Jesus was so that he could kill him. Except the, the three kings were visited by the angel Gabriel in a dream who told them to take a different route home and so the baby Jesus lived. As a result, these three kings are celebrated as a Christian tradition for their wisdom, holiness and goodness. Now let's cross over to Emily, who will show us how the French celebrate this holiday. Thank you. The first thing the French do to celebrate this holiday is to prepare a feast. Since the Magi are from the Orient, much of the food is spicy. They bake a cake called the King's Cake and decorate it with jewels and, and lollies to make it look like a crown. They hide a trinket or a bean inside it and the person whose slice has the figure is crowned king for the day. Another popular custom is to write the initials CMB above a household's door. This stands for the names of the three kings, Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar, and it is meant to bring good luck. On the eve of Epiphany, children in some areas of France also receive presents if they've been good enough. Epiphany is also when the last figure of the creche is assembled. On each of the 12 days of Christmas, another figure is added to the nativity until the 12th day Epiphany, when the last one is added. This means it is the last celebration of Christmas until the next year. The French have celebrated this holiday since the rise of Christianity in France many hundreds of years ago and it is therefore a very important part of Christian tradition. As well as celebrating the birth of Jesus, it is also an opportunity for friends and family to share this holiday with gifts, food and friendship. Thank you, Stephanie and Emily, for telling us about Epiphany. Obviously, it is a very special and important holiday, and it is celebrated not only in France, but by Christians all around Europe and <laughs>